Well, welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick and this is the outdoors. So I recently put a poll up on YouTube. Two options I wanted the people from YouTube to pick what my next video would be. Pike fishing all day or walleye fishing on a brand new lake. It's so close. Like last night when I checked it, it was 51% pike, 49% walleye. So I packed for pike, woke up in the morning, it's reversed, 51% walleye, 49% pike. So we're doing the pike fishing thing first, and then we're gonna give what the people want. We're gonna go after walleye in a new lake, hopefully later this week yet, maybe even Carter with me or something like that. But we're gonna go to a new body of water I've never been to before and hunt some walleye. But first, all day pike. We're gonna throw everything at them today. Got some lures already in a mess, ready to go. Top water, glide baits. Uh, I got a booker tail there. I'll probably put on a different color right now. But we are going to target pike. Let's go chuck some baits. I can honestly say I'm pretty excited for this. Like, it's been a while since I've done like an all day pike a thon. There we go, pike a thon. Pike a thon. I like it. I'm super stoked. Super stoked. So, why a booker tail again or a bucktail, you ask? not something else you just cover so much water we're going bright colors right now it's a super bright day i am going to switch it up to some top water at some point probably as you guys know from other videos i love top water bait for pike i might even throw the fly rod around a little bit or at least show you one of my biggest secrets am i going to give this away in this video i might not give this away yet it might be too soon yeah it might be too soon in this relationship to give my secret away Big fish follow. Big fish follow. Big fish follow. Just had a first good follow, like high 30s, low 40s. Good follow. I really need to get a polarizer on this GoPro. Here we go. Smaller one. Getting follows. Getting follows, just can't get them to commit or eat. So I'm gonna have to change baits, I think. Maybe start with a glide bait. I really wanna throw a fly rod. That, oh, Clayton. I had a bunch of weeds, so I didn't go follow into a check mark. That fish was so hot. Oh, you donkey, Clayton. That fish was like so committed. And I, I totally didn't do my number one rule of like a check mark or a little bit of a, a follow through. I pulled my bait out way too early. That's what happens. Right there. And I got straight make next cast by a different fish. That's what happens right there. That's what happens. It's a good fish too. He was so committed. Like he was, a, he was so committed to that bait. So committed. Crazy. Just like that, just like that, all of a sudden, a couple fish miss one. They're short biting. Jeez, just like that. No. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good one. That's a good one. Nice. Well, it took a little bit. Get out of those weeds. Get out of those weeds, baby. Get out of those weeds. Get out of those weeds. That's a good one. Nice. So much fun. Just hooked in the beak. Barbless hooks. So easy to shake off when they're hooked right in the nose like that and in amongst all the weeds. Come on. No, no. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Oh, I'm going to lose this fish probably, but it's not a big deal. It's not big enough that I want to net it. Come on. There we go. Like I said, I'm going to probably lose that fish. But it wasn't the end of the world. It was like a 37, 38 inch fish. That was cool. Like I said, no big deal. I really didn't care if I lost it. No harm to it. Done at all. It wasn't big enough to put in the net. 
and it's a safe release. Safe release. My most enjoyable part of the pike is usually the hook set, the hook up type of thing. A little bit of the fight and that's kind of like, nah, whatever. If it's not a great big one, I don't put it in the net. It's not a giant deal to me at all. Could have netted them. Had no plans to though. And I knew all along when they're hooked in that beak, they're just, it's so tough to land them at times. Well, pretty good start to the to the day, really. Missed one, my fault. Had another one on for a second. Lost it, another strike. Had this one on for a little bit. Wasn't too upset that I lost them. They're short biting though, like just grabbing the end of the bucktail. Except for the, the one fish that came out and tried to pound the bait. He was, he was fully committed to eat the whole thing. There we go. That feels like a walleye almost again. It really does. No, nice pike. Decent pike. I said it felt like a walleye. Just got short, short little drastic head shakes. Shut my trolling motor off. Again, just kind of hooked right in the nose. This one's smaller. Look at that. Just beak hooked. Like I said, they're short biting. I'll explain what short biting means a little bit here. Right away, as soon as I get this fish. It might come off too. I don't really know. Okay, see where it's hardly hooked? Right in the beak. Barbless hook too falls right out as soon as I took any pressure off of it. At least I'm going to explain what short biting is. Short biting means they're coming along and they're literally just kind of grabbing the end of the spinner. It's like they it's like they want to eat it, but they're kind of reluctant to, so they're kind of like, oh, I'll just kind of taste it just a little bit. And of course, they're getting the hooks in the beak. Somebody suggested putting... Um, what's it called shrink wrap around here and it'll increase your hookups and in those situations 100 percent right the shrink wrap will increase your hook, heat shrink will uh increase your hookup on short biting fish big time great start to the morning so far two fish well technically only one actually my hands landed the other one is pretty much a caught fish though too i'm not gonna lie but i'm gonna go through the same area here another drift and I'm going to use a, a glide bait this time, I believe. I'm not sure which one yet. Maybe a Savage Shine Glide, I think, which I've had numerous of success with. I think that's what we'll do first. Okay, glide bait. Let's do it. I think if the wind calms down later in the day and it might into the evening, I will throw the fly rod. I was going to throw it now, but it just got a little bit too crazy windy not that you can't throw a fly rod in the wind right but we're gonna throw the glide bait first shine glide it's very common for those pike to be stacked up in little areas together i know i talked about it when i was filming a video i don't know whether i've actually have it in there or not a video coming out soon talking about why they call them the water wolf and they literally they do hunt in packs believe it or not they're it's very common you find one you'll find multiples doesn't mean you're not going to have some lone ones kicking around too but a lot of times they'll be together Oh, 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 oh. oh, he rolled on it. He had it for a second. He's got it again. He's got it again. He picks it up. He's swimming with it. Nice fish. Nice fish. Come on, baby. I don't understand how pike aren't more. Anchor lock. Anchor lock on my spot lock. Look at all the bait here, too. I do not understand how pike aren't more sought after. Like, what type of fish can you get an explosive explosive bite like that out of obviously muskies of course but well i'm not really having muskies in my area okay nice i think i can unhook them right here i think i can unhook them right here now ah, we'll grab them and show them off to the camera quick since i didn't do it with the first one nice fish like the 30 i don't know 36 say something like that 36 inch i'd say beautiful fish love the e socks lucius
That was such an explosive fight. Explosive bite, I should say. Not fight. The fight was pretty black. But the bite was pretty cool. That's fun. Gotta go find Large Marge. Where's Large Marge? What lake doesn't have a, a Large Marge? Oh, big fish. Big fish. Yeah, I caught him. Not as big as I thought, but, but nice. Nice. Oh, I'm trying to keep the hook. <laughs> you see me kind of <laughs> dancing around like a... <laughs> But, uh, okay. you see me kind of dancing around funny. I'm trying to keep the nose of the fish away from the end of the rod just to try to keep that fish button. Come on, do something. They're not, uh, they're not fighting super hard right now at all. It's not as big as I thought. He looked bigger when he followed it first. We got him to eat though. We got him to eat. Nice, nice fish. Nothing wrong with that at all. Nothing wrong with that at all. Still not big enough to put in the net, buddy. I don't know how well he's hooked. He could come on button at any second, I'm sure. But that's okay if he does. It's okay if he does. It's hardly got the front hook. Okay, buddy. Land you up here. Okay, we got you. Oh, that's, a, that's better than I thought. It's not as big as I originally thought. But it's definitely bigger than I, definitely bigger than I thought. <laughs> awesome. Okay, hooks out. Nice fish. Very, very close to 40, if not 40. He's going to shake, though. Got under control. If I would have lost it, I just would have tossed it right in the water. Because it's got so much energy, because it didn't fight that hard. I'm not even going to measure it, you guys. I'm going to put it back in. I don't want to hurt this fish any more than I have to. Nice. It's probably 40 inches, to be honest. I'd say 40, 41, something like that. It's a nice fish. Just hooked. Okay. Are you good? Are you good? Are you good? I can still see her. She just kind of swam to the bottom and she's sulking, which is fine. She's right side up on the bottom. I can still see her actually, but that's good. She's resting, recouping. I think they burn so much energy sometimes when they chase the baits down, they don't put up that hard of a fight. Eh. And it's a little bit warmer water. It's 69 degrees or 70 degrees, something like that. So it can be hard on those fish when it's that warm. I don't like to fish for them that warm up north but I really don't have an option in the south right now. Using one of my favorite pike baits, Shine Glide from Savage. I think it's a seven inch bait, maybe an eight inch. Bluegill pattern represents a perch basically. It's so nice because you can, you can twitch it, work it like a glide bait, or you can reel it nice and slow. and It'll kind of S curve through the water. Jointed glide baits are, are cool. And I've got on here, 40 pound AFW tieable wire tied to a swivel up here. And then I'm running, I think I'm running 50 pound braid on this rod, I believe. A 50 pound, 50 pound Power Pro. Tranks 300, one of my favorite rods. A little bit touchy drag at times. You gotta be very careful with that. And a Terramar inshore Shimano rod. This one is a seven, seven foot in length. And it is a medium heavy, medium heavy, medium heavy and a medium fast action i've never heard of that before medium fast action is medium fast i've never heard of a medium fast before but that's obviously what it is so it's kind of a uh a toss between a moderate and a fast i guess a toss sometimes i don't speak very proper english do i you guys i go to edit later and i'm like what did you just say anyways awesome nice fish 40 41 inches i'd give that fish for sure just didn't I could just tell it didn't fight super hard you could tell it was lively in my hands and I just felt like the longer I kept that fish out of the water the good chance it was going to eventually shake on me and go ballistic it kind of started to throttle me once with my hand but I got him under control quick if it would have lost it I just would have threw him in the water because that's the safest place for him don't throw him in the bottom of the boat throw him out there in the water where they belong 
Fun, 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 fun. Fun, fun. So much fun. There we go. Oh, wow. That fish hammered me. Like, hammered me. Oh, come on. Spot lock. That fish absolutely hammered me. Part of me feels like I got him kind of on the side of it. He hit me way out. Oh, it looks pretty big. Looks big. Wonder if it's a snagged carp or something. It feels heavy. No, it's a pretty big pike. Got me in the weeds is why it felt so heavy. Okay, that makes sense. It hammered me and it took me into the weeds. And that's why the weight got so much. It's not that big. It's just, oh, it's a nice fish. I'm not that big, Clayton. It's another high 30 inch fish. Look at that hook down there. Ooh, it's kind of, I don't even know if he's got the hook anymore. He's just got the leader in his hands. Well, that's dangerous. Oh, he's got the wire. He wasn't even like really hooked anymore. He just had the leader in his mouth. That's why you steal leader. <laughs> okay, here's another 40 plus inch pike right here. Probably, like I said, I mean, it could be 39, could be 40, but it's, uh, it's pretty big, it's pretty nice. Again, not a super heavy fight that time because he was in the weeds. I'm not gonna mess around. That fish absolutely hammered me absolutely hammered me okay there she goes that one took off like a rocket and this is why that fish felt so heavy full of weeds wasn't sure what was going on like it hit like a ton of bricks so i thought maybe my hook came across like a carp or something like that and caused it to get snagged but it, <laughs> no the fish just hit it that hard and then by the time it got in, I didn't even know if it was really hooked anymore. It just kind of had the wire in its mouth around a tooth. A little bit of luck involved in that one. Is it weird that I want to switch baits right, right away just because I know I can catch them with this? I want to try some other stuff. <laughs> yes! Love it! She's got that thing sideways. Love it! Oh, never get tired of this. Never get tired of this. Never. Unreal. Oh, she come up underneath it and ate the whole thing. Man, I will say this. I am not getting much of a fight out of these fish today. Not much of a fight at all. Another nice quality, quality fish. Quality, quality. Okay, I think it's time to try another spot. Throw this bait for a bit more and then maybe switch up again. I don't know, I just like switching up baits all the time. I know it's kind of silly, but try another spot. Okay, so we found pike. We found some nice ones. Where are the big, big ones? Now we gotta find the big, big ones. See, to me, I'm pretty spoiled with pike. 40 inches, it's a nice fish. It's, it's a big fish. To me though, like when you start to get 45 and up, those are the, those are the giants. <laughs> I saw that fish a little bit further back. I saw the, I could just see the dark shadow kind of thing. And, uh, I stopped it right here by the boat and just twitched it a bit more and that fish comes straight up from the bottom and hammered it. Unreal. Unreal. Such quality of fish too. Oh, so good. Unbelievable. I'm gonna have to grab you because you got that hook on the inside of your mouth. Easy girl. Easy. 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 <laughs> Unreal. Man. Jeez. 
it's just another quality fish quality <laughs> look at that another quality fish what a day this is awesome smashing them just smashing them Clayton you just smash them unbelievable what a day like what a day so good some boats around me walleye fishing they're probably wondering what is going on over there there we go that was cool that was cool that's a better fish too that's a little bit better fish that's better fish oh geez unreal what a day what a day what a day that's a big that's a bigger fish it's 38 ish maybe just running it through some weeds maybe only 36 beautiful fish oh just laying a licking on the pike today where are you where are you where are you unreal what a day what a day oh that's a good one it's a good one it's a good fish good fish mean fish really mean fish okay i'm calling this one about 36 and a half maybe 37 uh, <laughs> 36 and a half 36 and a half to the <laughs> to the exact measurement okay Look at she's got a cool two-tone on her. Got a little bit of blood coming out of her. She took that booker tail deep. But she'll get back in that water. That wound will close up. She'll be good. There we go. Well, what an amazing day on the water chasing the northern pike. Said I go over a couple lures, some of my favorite pike lures that I use. Some of them I use today, some of them I didn't. Right here is an arsenal that you'll see me use a lot when I guide up north. A booker tail, I threw the chartreuse one early this morning. A whopper plop, sorry, a whopper plopper, river to sea. There's like five different sizes of that. A savage gear line through trout, that is an eight inch, amazing. Hell puppy, I think that one is like I said, a six inch, maybe a five, no, I'm pretty sure it's six. And that's a shine glide also made by savage gear let me know if you guys want me to go into more details like all the different sizes of booker tails all the different sizes of whopper ploppers the different lines through trout like i can literally make a little series on each one just at home in the garage even something like that just explaining all the different baits that i like to use i use this a pile this is american fishing wire this one's 26 pound i also run a 40 pound test say i'll run 40 pound on this and this and this, but I'll run 26 on a top water. And then on um, a booker tail, I'll actually run a normal uh, titanium leader. Sorry for the lip smacking. My uh, mouth is a little dry. And an awesome day, like crazy. Kind of slowed down a little bit here as the day progressed, as it got warmer, but that happens. I got some clouds moving in here hard to see it's like maybe a storm of brewing I'm going to pack up get on the road thank you guys so much for picking the day of pike fishing I had a blast I think I'm gonna do some pike on the fly soon but I'm also after this video my next thing is gonna be targeting a brand new lake that I've never fished for walleye before we'll try that first and we'll see how it goes so thank you as always everybody and don't forget get outside. <laughs>